At any point while sketching z-spheres, you can press the letter A to preview a unified skin that you can create from the z-spheres that you're working with. I'll press A now. You can see that this preview unified skin is quite low in resolution. That's because of our resolution slider located here in the tool palette in the unified skin pulldown. By default, the resolution is at 128. I'll press A to go back to my z-sketch. I can actually turn this down to somewhere around 50 and press A again to preview that. You can see now we have an even lower mesh, which gives us a general approximation of the volume of the z-sphere sketch we're working with. Now what's good about this is that you can sketch freely with z-spheres and then at any point preview a lower resolution or a higher resolution mesh that you can then sculpt on later. So let's say you just want this general volume, keep your resolution low. But if you want to capture all this detail that you see here, I'll take my resolution for this model somewhere around 600. Then I'll press the letter A again. Now that the preview skin has been generated, you can see it pretty much takes on all the details of the Z-Sketch we were working with. If you're happy with the resolution in the preview, you can turn this into a mesh that you can sculpt on by simply clicking Make Unified Skin. I'd like to point out that the armature Z-spheres that I explained in earlier videos don't render in this process. So for instance, if I switch over to this model, you can see that we have some armature Z-spheres. I can press Shift A to show you that armature. And then we have some sketch Z-spheres sketched on top of that. If I press the letter A, you can see that the preview unified skin just shows you the sketch Z-spheres, where the armature Z-spheres aren't included in this. We'll talk in a little bit about how to render this whole process out and create a skin using the armature as well. But for right now, we just want to take a look at the unified skin method, which doesn't render out the armature z-spheres. There's a good benefit to this. You can actually use a single z-sphere. I'll press Shift A to start sketching on it as kind of a base cage that you can then sculpt some interesting designs on. Then press the letter A and then generate this skin. So you can use the shape and volume of your armature sketch as a cage to build your outer sketch z-spheres. Then when you want to create a unified skin, you don't have to worry about the armature existing. One nice example of this process is using radial symmetry. So I'll go to my transform palette. I'll turn on activate symmetry, turn on radial symmetry, and in this case I'll use symmetry in Y. Again, I'll hit Shift A to go into sketch mode. I'll turn my radial count somewhere up to about 30. Then I'll just sketch in some sketch Z spheres. In this case, I'll just kind of do a wavy pattern. And at this point, if I hit the letter A, you can see that that armature z-sphere doesn't show up, but then now I have a nice volume that I could use for a basket. If I want to turn this into a mesh, I'll simply click Make Unified Skin. We now have the skin version, and we can continue all of our sculpting.